this is the seventh rookie quarterback to make the Pro Bowl since 2012. That's a that's a pretty nice list. I see a guy in 2012 with a big smile on his face, Robert Griffin III, <laughs> who was selected as well. You've got Andrew Luck, Dak Prescott as well. Among them, and there those two are, Robert Griffin III. On his left is the man, C.J. Stroud. C.J., thank you for stopping by. On Countdown throughout this year, we were talking about this as a group. I feel like there are all these mile markers. You were on with us early when we could see that something was happening. You were on with me on SportsCenter after you guys clinched a playoff spot. Then you beat Cleveland and, and win a playoff game. And now here you are in the Pro Bowl. All these mile markers, to me, invite reflection on, on where you are in the journey. As you sit here right now, can you allow yourself the satisfaction of where you are already? Yeah, man, I feel like I can. You know, uh, a, lot of, a lot of what's next, I feel like, was my mindset. Whenever I got a big win or a big, a big uh, we got the big playoff win, I'm always like, what's next, what's next? But now I think it's appropriate to look back and, and see uh, all the cool stuff I did this year. And really, as a team, we accomplished so much, man. So, yeah, I've been... Smelling my flowers a little bit. Good, just good. Appreciate good. it, but good. honestly, I'm, su I'm still super excited for next year and just can't wait to get back to work, really. So, CJ, when you when you look at this and you smell on those flowers, you come to a new city, new teammates, new coaches, and a new offense. That's a whole lot of new-new, and we ain't talking about ATL. <laughs> How did you come in and try to galvanize the locker room to get them to respect you and your work ethic? Man, I really came in just and I wanted to build trust. You know, I didn't want anything handed to me. Um, I wanted to build trust. Uh, from a thorough way, you know, just uh, spending quality time, I feel like, was the best thing to do. So just taking guys to dinner, having guys over. I uh, actually got to take my teammates out to L.A. We trained a little bit. Okay. Uh, got to go to dinner, went out a little bit, had some fun, you know. Um, and just as boys, not even as teammates at that time, just getting to know each other. And I think all that paid off, and that's why I was a, a, a leader on the team and a captain. CJ, there were so many highs and positives in this season. You know, you had the only game of your season under 100 yards against the New York Jets, but you also are injured and you're out for two weeks. What was that time yeah. like for you during the season? It was tough, man. You know, uh, football, it comes with injuries. You know, y'all been there, we all have been there. And uh, during that time, man, I really just leaned on, on family, uh, leaned on my faith and really just uh, knew that I would come back and I, I didn't want to knock any rust off. I just wanted to go back straight <laughs> to playing well. So honestly, I was watching some film as I was out and um, it actually helped me a lot, you know, actually kind of being out because uh, rookie year is long. You yeah. know? So I think I was, in a sense, uh, uh, God trying to, like, just protect me from maybe my own self. So I really uh, just really took that time off to get better uh, just in internally.